hello guys welcome to solving solutions on the brand channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to use qgis to fix scanline error issues right good so it's actually um specific to um landsat 7 um, satellite imagery it is caused by the failure of the scanline corrector on board the satellite resulting in missing or distorted data in um, specific scan lines so now let's come to qgis and then let's bring in the imageries that are having those distortions and a gap max that will be used to fill those imageries so we go to layer we go to add layer and then we go to add raster layer and then we browse good so we have navigated to the folder of choice and then for the purpose of today's demonstration we are going to import just three bands of the imageries here right good so that's band one to three and then we add similarly we will still come back and then we now come to the gap max folder that is where you now see the imageries that will be used to fill the gaps that we have there so we also take correspondingly um, band one to three for the gap max right good so we open we add and we close now for the purpose of understanding what we are doing better let's try to minimize all of these good now we are going to turn off the gap max layers and then we are now going to turn on only the images that we are interested in you can see that they actually contain those lines right good so these are the scan lines that we want to correct so to achieve that we come to raster we go to um, analysis and then we select them um, fill no data yes but because we are having three images we are going to use the what the batch process so for this purpose you can see that um, we already have one of the bands here so let's make that band one so that it will be alphabetical then we use this drop down and then we select from open layers so since we already have band one there we can just select band two and band three and then we click on ok so this now adds band one sorry this should be band one band two which is this and then band three which is this right good so now that's for band one then band two and band three the next thing is the maximum distance we are going to leave it at 10 and then for the number of smoothing iteration let's leave it at zero then the other important um, parameter to impute is the um, validity max right good for us to have the validity max that is the gap max let us use this same um, drop down and then we select from open layers right so what we now need is gap max one two and three right good you now see this is for band one band two and band three the corresponding what gap max so we click on ok now the final aspect will be for us to have the field images right good so we browse good so we have navigated to the folder of choice let's call this field with an underscore right good now what this would do is that it would be like the prefix to all of the images that have been filled so we click on save now the autofill option is asking us if we want to autofill or not yes we want to autofill but with what the parameter values so we click on ok and then what are we going to use we are going to use what the input layer so we click on ok so you now see that by default the names have been auto populated and then we can now run but before we run let us click on load layers on completion so that we can see the field layers loaded there right so now let's run fantastic so we can close this remember we use the um, batch process because it's more than one otherwise you can use what the single process and then you can see the different parameters right good so if we close this if we take these field images out we are now going to see that we have what the images that have what the scan lines however when we try to put this on you now see that the scan lines have been filled so we hope we have shown you using QGIS how to fill gap lines of your satellite imagery so if you find the video interesting you can decide to subscribe share with your friends comment like the video and then 
we are going to bring more interesting content on the channel until then keep staying safe and have a fantastic time bye